have okay, discussed about what is consumer, how many types of the consumer, one argument in consumer, two argument consumer, if two argument is, is called by consumer, okay team, if two argument in consumers, there is a one abstract one default method can we implement predicate of function consumer in one scenario answer yes yesterday what we did you know we started our examples on we started our examples on only this one argument in consumer is done and this combination of predicate function consumer is done now we will see two argument consumer one example and also and also primitive consumer is another example and also consumer chaining consumer chaining all these examples now we will see Okay, practical team. All these examples now we will see practical team. So let's see. We'll go for by consumer. We'll go for by consumer. Now here C T. First we will go for consumer chaining. New class. Consumer chaining demo. Okay, now simple here. Same assume that we have that okay, employee data only. <laughs> we have that employee. You have that okay, employee object only. Let's assume that I have a one simple okay, employee object or I have a List of okay, employee object, okay, whatever you want. Okay, employee, EMP is equal to new employee. Oh, so what we'll do? EMP dot set employee ID. EMP dot set employee name. EMP dot set employee address or employee salary set employee address oh. means Hyderabad any name team just to far. EMP dot set designation and team. Now what we'll do here, you know, here what we'll do now. I want apply. So consumer chaining team. Chaining means okay, input something will be happen, output nothing team. Now what I will do consumer. employee input is employee c1 just you will give c1 just you will give you need to give some one of okay, sop you need to give one okay sop team how to do that okay sop e colon system dot out dot print ln employee name or employee id e dot employee id that's it i don't want to give more so let's see e2 e3 another consumer i have here get 
v dot employee name another consumer i have c3 here e dot employee id employee name employee address address okay now now we are applying for training team this training you know consumer employee employee whatever it is employee No. C4. How to apply this training team? C1 dot. C1 dot. And then. C2 dot. And then. C3 dot. And then. And then. C3 and so on. How many you want, you can write it. How many you want, you can write it. Now, anyhow, you are prepared here. Okay, employee object here. Now, now what I will do? C4 dot accept. C4 dot accept. Accept. I am passing a okay, key employee object. That's it, team. So if you are passing a employee object, consumer, your business logic, it will give only employee ID. Second consumer, it will give some employee name. Third consumer, it will give employee address. Now if you combine all, what you will get it, you know, you will be like displaying all team. You will be like displaying employee ID is, employee ID is, you will be like displaying team. EMP ID is. You will be okay displaying like name is. You will be okay displaying name is. Employee name is team. You will be okay displaying addresses. Addresses. This is the way how, how we could use team. Okay. Now if I run this. Run as. See, employee ID is this, name is this. So you are you are combining all these consumers. Here is only simple statements. In your real time, you may you may perform so many of okay, use cases here. Okay, inside of this lambda expressions, whatever you want, okay, you can write, but that lambda expression does not return anything. Accept means for what? It, okay, it has one input, but it it does not expect any output. Understood team. So, this is what we have seen okay, yesterday. So, consumers means combined consumer chaining means combined two or more consumers into single consumer is called consumer chaining team. And then his default method, it is used to perform group of all the consumer objects. Understood team? No, it is good. Now we will go for the next example. What is the next example team? By consumer. Once this buying consumer is done, now we would start for, you know, supplier team. We would start for by consumer by consumer now what is the use of this by consumer why we should go for by consumer team if your your input has two arguments your input has okay if the input has two arguments then it is called by consumer input has two arguments and return is void 
return is and nothing written nothing written is called by consumer is called by consumer team how this by consumer will start practically now we will see one example team then we would plan for the primitive consumers then we would plan for the primitive consumer team okay team now see what is by consumer simple example team simple example go for buying consumer You see here it is a predefined one. Here is okay input. Here is okay. Both are okay inputs only. Output is nothing here. Your input first argument may be employee. Second argument may be double. Whatever you want you can take. Consumer. By consumer. Now, what you will do here? Here, 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 two arguments, right? Employee, comma, salary, okay, increment, okay, something it would be happened. Now, what it will do? E dot, get employee salary. Not this employee. We would take another employee then. We have many employees, right? Here is only employee ID and name. Other group where you have employee ID, name, salary, okay, everything. Not enough. Right? Now, what would be happen here? E, e comma increment. E comma okay, increment. Get salary. E comma increment. Get salary. Okay. Plus, how much increment is there? We should give that increment. How much increment is there? We should give that increment. Understood. E, e dot get salary plus your okay, increment. Your okay, increment team. Where to store your increment and all. Now we will see practically because you are passing this data. You are passing this data. Let's assume that okay, 10,000 increment or whatever. It is here. Why it does not return? anything yes why it does not return anything by consumer have two methods one is accept another one is and then one is accept another one is and then method and then method okay whatever you will give just display here system dot out dot print ln dot print ln e dot get is salary plus increment amount I am taking some. Now, what is my account here? So, I should use this of employee list of employee or of employee okay, util employee util dot get employee means it will give employee list instead of writing this every time, it will give employee list. 
now what it will be happen apply your for each loop okay employee e colon l the employee list c dot accept accept means you need to pass employee object how much of increment you are going to give for each employee maybe you will pass in some 5000 okay something because you are two and two arguments are there here you are passing first argument as a employee now second argument second argument is double you are passing like you know this amount t let's see run as java application that's fine so either by consumer or consumer it does not return any book anything only thing is consumer will have a written type you know consumer will have only one argument by consumer will have two arguments but both does not return anything both does not return anything depends upon the requirement when you should go for one argument in consumer or two argument in consumer or consumer chain now last examples we should go for consumer primitive steam consumer okay primitives once it is done we would start for the okay supplier city consumer primitives consumer okay primitives demo team see when we should go for this consumer primitives and you should go for this consumer primitives team see here a simple example we'll see i told already this okay for to, to improve the, our okay, application performance team okay primitives are used to to okay, improve the our application performance okay, instead of auto boxing and unboxing doing by the manually you know uh, so, so doing by okay, externally we are we are enforcing stopping that auto boxing and unboxing with the help of predefined consumer primitive interfaces those are called int consumer long consumer double consumer if it is if it is now here if it is buying consumer means object int object long these kind of use cases will use team okay now let's see in our previous example we have seen team let's take consumer demo so what happened wherever you have primitives are there wherever you have okay okay primitives are there here see here go for your by consumer here we have primitives unnecessarily here more primitives means more auto boxing unboxing it would be happened to overcome this what will do to overcome this what will do consumer primitive now here see team simple i would go for int consumer no need to pass any argument why you are you are informing that hey it is an integer only why you should pass again data type here that's it team that's it you don't need to pass anything c dot accept pass your okay, integer value Int consumer, you have accept always integer value performs the operations for the given argument. Int consumer also will do for consumer chaining, but here input is for what? Int consumer. Output also is int consumer. It's not like consumer, it's a consumer chaining, always consumer. Chaining means group of multiple consumer into a 
सिंगल कंज्यूमर हियर ग्रुप ऑफ मल्टीपल इंट कंज्यूमर इज ए सिंगल इंट कंज्यूमर हियर टी एन सेम यूज केस नो विल गो सी बाइक कंज्यूम बाइक कंज्यूमर इज देयर सी हियर नो टाइप कैश इज ओके ओके रिक्वायर्ड हियर बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस अर्लीयर ओके टाइप कैश इज रिक्वायर्ड हियर नो टाइप कैश इज रिक्वायर्ड earlier every time you are integer to primitive primitive to okay integer earlier you have means your your primitive to wrapper class okay wrapper class to integer every time you should do earlier now it is not required the consumer you can take earlier i okay we took here in our previous example same whatever we took by consumer here by consumer in our previous example here this one i think no by consumer example yeah same use case i will take but not all the employees you can take all the employees also okay it's not a problem now go for this consumer primitive so now the consumer it is earlier earlier okay use case team it is what is earlier okay use case here you have to write so many operations here here c is there by consumer bc here one simple Okay, employee ka object we should prepare simple okay, employee object employee is equal to new okay, employee employee is equal to new okay, employee why why we should again prepare everything i'm just copying one of okay, employee object to done okay now what is the use case here so you have a one one employee ka object now what you will do bc dot by consumer dot accept you will pass that to employee object you will pass how much of fucking okay, increase okay, increment you want you will you will give it to t now you got the output is okay but so many type cast is required team here so many type cast is required every time your primitive will be converting into your wrapper object your primitive will be converting into your wrapper object means here auto boxing and unboxing these problems go for primitive how this okay primitive will work object 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 double obj double obj double consumer obj double consumer pass your employee obj double consumer obj consumer now oh. e comma d means okay, employee comma salary e dot get salary plus same code whatever code you can write this code will not stop team code will not stop here what is stopping here to perform okay, extra operations what is stopping here to perform extra type casting operations it will stop now you can do in single line you can do obc dot accept accept i will pass the employee i will pass the employee same i will pass this okay team okay if you observe here here every time auto boxing or unboxing it would be happened because of this use case your application performance is not good whereas here your application performance it would be good 
no run as java application see got the output t now run as java application t is it clear team of everything or any questions team clear team anything or any questions team any questions team do you have Any questions, team? Okay, everyone. Yeah, please. Okay, no questions, team. No, this is what use case. Now, in previous class, we have a okay, summary is okay discussed about one argument consumer. Okay, discussed about two argument consumer. To argument consumer it is also called by consumer here it is also called single consumer we have also discussed about consumer chaining generally it would be okay what happened method is called accept only it would be happened only okay, input only it would be happened Generally here what would be happen accept only but here you have a input is called you two are of inputs are available here consumer chaining means here group of group of consumer objects into single consumer object you have a method is called and then you would be calling like c1 dot and then c2 dot and c1 dot and then of c2 and c2 dot and then of c3 and so on you would be using all team so fourth one team we have okay discussed about now primitive primitive consumer team primitive consumer okay clear everything any questions team any questions team okay everyone this is our summary about our consumer team thank you team we'll catch up tomorrow team. yeah thank you all